You hate ads, I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this channel ad-free. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike, and this is the Pilot Custom Heritage 912, and this one is fitted with an SU nib. There are 15 different nibs in this series of pens, and I will have videos covering all, or at least most of them, on the channel. Do you want to see a PO nib, a Waverly nib, some music nib, maybe some flex nibs? There are going to be videos for all of those, plus one if it's just covering the 912 itself. So go check out those videos on the channel to find out about those interesting nibs. Here, we're looking at the stub itself, and the stub SU U nib is a little bit on the sharp side for a stub. Uh, you can see here on the nib that we have uh, SU as the marking. We have the 10 there for the nib size. And then we have uh, the markings that say it is a 14 karat nib. And it's also rhodium plated. All of these pens are black resin bodies currently with uh, rhodium plated hardware. And so it's a good idea to leave the sticker on there so that you know what size nib you are using at a glance in case you have more than one of these uh, really beautiful pens on your desk, you can just find the one that's the stub or the one that's the posting nib or the one that's a Waverly or just a regular old medium, however you like it. So a little bit about nib grinds. This one, as you can see, has been ground. You can see a little bit of a flat spot here on the top of the tipping, as well as you can see sort of a flat spot on the sides there and there. And also on the bottom, you have a little bit of a flat spot. Now, when you are grinding a nib like this, a regular nib has sort of a curve like this, right? With a split in the middle for the nib slit. Then you have sort of the stubs, which uh, come down and they're sort of curved and go across, but they're flat on the bottom as opposed to being curved. And you have sort of a formal italic, which will have hard corners on the edge and a slit down the middle. The SU nib, I think, is somewhere right in here. It's not as curvy on the sides as your average stub, and it's not flat and hard across like a formal italic. Now, the reason that you will have these sort of curves is so it will be more comfortable when you're writing and you won't have to pay as much attention. The reason you want these hard corners on the italic is that it gives you very nice, sharp edges on your pen uh, lines and also a whole lot of line variation. The stubs will have maybe slightly less line variation and they won't look as crispy on the sides of those lines. The reason I say this is kind of in the middle is because this is a fairly sharp stub or a little bit of a rounded italic. I really like the line variation that you get from the SU. But for my hand, I have to think about where I'm putting this pen down on the paper. Unlike with a nib like the WA, the Waverly is comfortable no matter where you hold it. If you have this one like curved up and you can see I'm writing at a bit of an angle here, it will still write, but you will feel the bite into the page because it does have some of this corner action that you get from an italic of that sort. So I think the stub nib is actually very nice and crispy and does give you this good line variation that you're looking for when you have a stub nib, but you're gonna wanna have some uh, give some care to how you're writing with it so it'll give you a nice smooth feel. When I'm holding this pen in the correct uh, orientation with the paper, man, does it feel nice and smooth. But if I'm just a little bit off or writing with a corner, uh, it can be kind of a rough experience and writing upstrokes can be a little bit rougher than it would be with a, with a stub, which will have that edge rounded off. So a little bit of a formal stub or an informal italic, something like that is how to think of the SU nib, I think. But Pilot's number 10 SU nib is very nice for writing uh, things that'll like look a little bit fancy and you'll feel fancy writing them. So go check out the Pilot Custom Heritage 912 with its SU nib and all of the other nib options wherever Pilots are sold. And uh, thanks for Pilot. Thanks to Pilot for letting me borrow this pen because this has a lot of, been a lot of fun to play with and I uh, hope you all learned something. So uh, until next time, peace out.